Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the pen tool, the pencil tool, and the brush tool, and comparing them within Photoshop. So, over on the left hand side of the tools window, you have access to both the brush tool, the pencil tool, and then down here, a little bit lower, the pen tool. They all do different things, but can be used for basically drawing on your Photoshop documents. So I'm going to zoom in here a bit so that we can really see what happens when I use, uh, let's say, the pencil tool to get started. I'm going to increase the size here in the options window, and then we're going to draw a little bit. So I'm creating these different sections made with the pencil tool. And if we look really closely, what you'll notice is that no matter where the pixel is that we've created, it has 100% opacity, meaning it's not transparent at all, and it has the exact same color as even the parts that are closest to the center. So when you are working with a pencil tool inside of Photoshop, your edges are considered to be hard, which means that there's no smoothing out as it gets closer to the edge um, where it would transition back into the white area of the original background color. It's simply that whatever areas get hit by this pencil tool are going to have 100% of the color which we are using. And that would be the foreground color over here selected in the tools window as well. Now the brush tool is very different. If we click over here to see the sizing for the tool, you'll notice that there's both a hardness setting and a lot of different smoother brushes that we can use. So with each of these different tools, and, and you notice that hard round is actually the pencil tool, 100% hardness is essentially pencil tool. But for all the other options, as you get away from the center, it's going to smooth out. So if we take one of these brush strokes, so this is 20% hardness. So next up, the pencil tool. When you use this tool, you can have semi-hard edges, but you will never get an edge that's as hard and completely clear-cut as the pencil tool. So here we have hard round, which is using 100% hardness. But you'll notice when we actually do this, it's still significantly smoother than the pencil tool. Because when we zoom in really close, even 100% hardness is not really 100% hardness. There's a little bit of that, there's a little bit of that transition back to the base color where on the outer edges it doesn't 100% apply the color. Here maybe you have 50% of the gray and then 25% of the gray and then 0% of the gray. In many contexts we would refer to this as anti-aliasing, which is a good thing. If you compare how this looks with the hard brush stroke compared to when you do it with a pencil, it's significantly smoother and in terms of creating good looking artwork, it goes a long way. Now, a brush stroke doesn't have to be that level of hardness. You can go a lot further down. So at soft round, 0% hardness, it might look something like this, where it's very, very blurry because there is a lot of that anti-aliasing. There's a huge number of pixels as it transitions from the center 100% black color to the outer white edges. So as you might expect, if you go any hardness setting in between, you're going to get less of that smoothing blurred anti-aliasing as you increase the hardness. So at 50% hardness or so, it looks like this. 75% you might get like this. Now both tools are useful depending on the context of what you're trying to create. If you're looking for that absolute hard edge, you go with the pencil tool. But I believe in most cases, you're working in Photoshop, you're probably going to use the brush stroke with at least um, a significant portion of hardness because you usually are going to want at least a little bit of that smoothness when you do your Photoshop documents, editing images, or doing graphic design. So that brings us to the pen tool, which, although it's called pen, is actually radically different than the brush and pencil. You would think it's, oh, just part of your standard toolkit. But what you actually do with the pen tool is you define a path. And once you've defined that path, you can interact with it. So you left click to add path points. And whenever you start creating new points, it's going to draw lines between them. Now, it doesn't need to be a straight line. If you left click and then hold, you can actually create curves between the points. So depending on how you manipulate this and change the handles, you can create some really wonky looking paths. So the advantage to using the pen tool is that you get more control over what you're trying to do than any other tool here. So for right now, I'm just going to complete this path. And now what we can do is things like right click, go to fill path if we want to fill 
that area that we've closed off with a singular color. We can stroke the path, which is where you basically draw actual data on top of the path. So using the pencil tool or the brush tool are options here, but you can also use less common tools as well. So let's do a brush stroke all along the path. Uh, now, you may want to go into the brush settings before you do that, and let's say lower the size of the brush significantly. So let's try that again. Brush stroke, and then we get that. A perfect brush stroke drawn along the path. It's even possible to do more advanced stuff, like take the path and then make your text apply onto that path. So how we would do that is we can take this text that we've typed in here. I'm just going to cut it. And the easiest way is if we hover over the path line, which you can always go over to the paths panel and select it again if it goes invisible or anything like that, is to select the line where you'll have this series of dots indicating a path where you're going to be typing the text onto. And now you'll notice that the text entering blinking icon um, is actually conforming to the path. So if we control V to paste that in, what you'll notice now is that this text is actually moving right along that path. So if I disable everything else, we can kind of see that the text just moves with the path. So that's pretty cool. Now most likely you'll get better results if you do this when you have a curve rather than very hard janky edges. But hopefully that gives you a quick idea about how you can at least use the pen tool in interesting ways. So hopefully if you're taking anything away from this video, note that the pencil tool is for absolute hard edges with zero anti-aliasing. Brushes allow you to have smoother edges leading up to just shy of the pencil level of hardness. And then the pen tool is actually about creating paths which you can fill the shape in, you can stroke along the path, or you can do other things like type text along that path. So that's going to be it for this video, comparing those three different tools. I've been Chris, and I will see you guys in my future Photoshop content.